turn my music What's going on guys, Robert Dupron Bree here and in this video I'm going to show you guys three different exercises for the biceps using kettlebells and I'm also going to explain to you why these exercises are effective and why the kettlebells are potentially superior to the dumbbells when it comes to bicep training. Alright, so let's get into it. So this right here is a standing curl using a pad or a wall uh, with the kettlebells. The pad ensures there is no swinging motion putting all emphasis on the forearms and biceps to lift the weight. The advantage of using kettlebells is that due to the design of the kettlebell, there is significantly more tension throughout the entire movement, including the top contracted position. And as a result of that, you will get greater muscle fiber innervation and motor unit recruitment, which means more growth. And this variation, the kettlebell hangs below your wrist, making it almost impossible to cheat and lose tension at the top of the movement. Since the kettlebell provides such continuous stress on both the biceps and the forearms, doing 3-4 to four sets for about 6-10 to 10 reps would be perfect. So this right here is an incline curl, which is a bodybuilding staple known to be very effective for bicep growth. The only issue is that when doing this exercise with dumbbells, there is very little tension above the bottom half of the movement. The biceps fully relax at the top of the curl. When doing this exercise with the kettlebells, due to their unique loading mechanism created, created from the hanging weight, from the kettlebell hanging lower than your wrist, it actually provides adequate tension and stimulation not only in the bottom and mid-range positions but also in the top contracted position. Using kettlebells makes this exercise even more effective by providing stimulus and tension throughout the entire range of motion. Use a rep range between 6 to 15 reps for full benefit. And this right here is a hammer curl using the kettlebells. The way you want to do this exercise is with a slight pause at the top. Due to the awkward nature of the kettlebell, it puts a lot of emphasis on the forearms and branchialis, especially when you pause it at the top make it that much more difficult to exercise and which means that you're going to have to use lighter lighter weight than what you're normally used to and because you use lighter weights go a little bit higher rep ranges maybe between 8 to 15 reps for 3 to 4 sets as you will see right here my wrist is already starting to shake because it's so difficult to hold it at the top and my forearms are already trying to give out so this is definitely a must try exercise especially because it's just a different variation for what you normally do and you always got to mix up your workouts so not only are these exercises effective, it also provides you with different variations from what you're normally used to, from what you normally do. And it makes it that much more fun to train and go to a gym. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Peace.